Hi everyone, welcome to Kendall Live. We've got a lot of exciting music news to cover this week. I'm Kaylee Stockhouse. I'm Kat Horiadish. And I'm Egypt Paras. Let's get this bad boy started. This past Saturday, April 11th, The Rat hosted three bands, Sleep In, Good Luck Spaceman, and Headliner, indie emo band Prawn. Local New Jersey band Sleep In really got the crowd moving as the first act. Good Luck Spaceman was next in the lineup, an alternative band that consists of current TCNJ students. They brought a blend of youthful energy, humor, and poise to their set list. Headliner Prawn then took the stage and immediately showcased their virtuoso talents by playing a blend of old and new songs, which had some of their fans jumping around and going crazy along with the band. Keep an eye out for more SAF-funded shows at The Rat this semester. On April 13th, Tyler the Creator released his new album titled Cherry Bomb to the public. Odd Future surprised many fans by announcing the existence of this album so close to its release time, but Tyler has said he's been working on some of the songs on the track list since 2011. Inspired by 70s R&B and accompanied by other famous featured artists, the record presents the rapper in a very unique light, but with an abstract cartoon drawing of the artist as the album cover, and some songs titled Death Camp and Keep De O's, Tyler the Creator still stays true to his weird and outspoken reputation. Brace yourself, emo fans, because Brand New has just released a new song uh, named Meme. Brand New hasn't released new material in six years since their 2009 album, Daisy. Lucky enough for fans, you can download their new song on their website, which is also hosting a video. This song was first performed at a show in Colorado last week and then played again at Coachella during their set a couple days ago. A, a couple days later. With the release of this new song, brand new fans should be on the lookout for a new album announcement any day now. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of Kendall Live, our rapid fire discussion round. Woo! Saturday, April 18th is going to be Record Store Day, which is a day which independent record stores celebrate the culture of buying and owning records. Any specific releases you guys are excited for? You can go. <laughs> um, well, I know the Front Bottoms are having a split with the uh, rapper GDP. Mm. Front Bottoms. <laughs> um, also, uh, the White Stripes is having a reissue of their album Get Behind Me, Satan. Okay. Um, that's the album with uh, My Doorbell, Blue Orchid. That's a really good one. So yeah, a lot of great releases for um, Record Store Day. Yeah. Um, well, I looked and I saw that uh, Jimi Hendrix is coming out with a Purple Haze album, nice. um, which is going to be a live album from his 1970 uh, concert in Atlanta. And EJ brought to my attention that um, The Doors are coming out with an album too, so excited cool. for that. Yeah, I heard that uh, Foo Fighters and Bob Dylan are also coming out with mm -hmm. some stuff too, so that's going to be cool. Yeah. All right, great points. People will be buying some of their favorite albums on Record Store Day, along with some of the Record Store Day exclusive releases. So guys, what are three albums you would get on your trip your trip to Prince and Record Store Exchange? Start Top three. Start. Okay, so I would get the wall, because I only have half of it for some reason. Um, I would get uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, mm. and I would get Because the Internet by Childish Gambino. Any specific uh, reasons for yes. those? Um, well, the wall one, because I only have half of it, and I want to have the other half. Um, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, because I recently got uh, By The Way, and I really liked it. and um, because of the internet, because I just really like Childish Gambino, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my three albums would be uh, Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, uh, Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits, and uh, Ten by Pearl Jam. I don't know, I just really, like those albums have really influenced me at some point in my life. <laughs> my dad really brought, got me into Dire Straits, so that was like, the guitar in that album was just divine. And Frank Ocean, like I can just relate on an emotional level, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So good for vinyl. That, that would yeah, be, that would be great. That's good vinyl stuff. Yeah. Um, I think my three would be probably Born Around by Bruce Springsteen, all time fave. Um, probably go with Welcome to the Black Parade by Mind Chemical Romance because that's just such a solid album. It's like a storyline and everything. So I think that'd be really cool to have like on vinyl. And you actually influenced me with your childish one. I think I'd want Camp on nice. there. Nice. Uh, that's good. Oh, I love Camp so much. Yeah. And I'm so mad because. Like, I've heard of him, like, a few years before, and I probably could have seen him for, like, easier and mm -hmm. everything, and now it's, like, almost impossible to see him for cheap live. Yeah, yeah. But still be cool to get him on vinyl. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like that's all we have for this week's edition for Kendall Live. If you're interested in joining LTV or Kendall Live, hit us up on Facebook or email us at ltv at tcnj.edu. I'm your host, Kaylee Stockhouse. I'm EJ Paras. And I'm Kat Horiatis. Have a great week.